Alrighty, here is my controller tutorial on how to make more buttons for the controller. Now, my goal is to make it so controller doesn't change, but you just add more to it. So, I will show you how. First, you need to go into Steam and hit this controller icon here. Uh, I think, yeah, you can go here too. <laughs> All right, so let's enable Steam input. First, very important. I'm gonna go into Edit Mate Layout, and this is where you change things. So, first we want a button that does nothing. And in order to get a button that, well, we want a button that you can hold that does nothing. So in my experience, in Dungeon Defenders, X and Y are the best for this, because they just, have spam options, spam keys. They don't really have any hold functions. So in order to guarantee it does nothing when you hold it in, uh, first, oops, first you're going to add an extra command. And then you're going to go to action sets and go clear from parent. So that means it does nothing. And we are going to it's a long press. And then we are going to go into settings and change your long press time. So we're just going to make it an even 200. You can edit. This is preference. This is about what I like. And now when you hold in Y, it does nothing. Good. Good. Okay. Now, now in order to use that now, when I hold Y, I want it to change my other buttons to do something else. So let's add a G. Like G starts the wave in Dungeon Defenders. So I am going to add an extra command. I am going to use a start button for this. So when I hold Y and press start, it'll G. So make this G. So this is my extra command, G and in order to hold, in order to add the Y button in there, I'm going to make it a button cord. And I'm going to change my button cord to Y. Now, if I go into the game here, press Y, or hold Y and press start, it'll G. <laughs> and you could be in the game while you're changing buttons, which is kind of cool. Now, every time I tab out, it does this for some reason. I don't know why it does that, so I just back out and go back in, and it's all still there. Okay, so now you have a G button. Okay, let's see, let's say you want a tower stack. Uh, I like the D-pad for tower stacking. So, if I'm going to uh, add a tower stack button. I will add an extra command. And the number you want to tower stack with is the one you put here. So I'm going to, like, the number eight still exists while you're using controller. So I'm going to just make this eight so it's not a button, not a, like, number four or something. And then I'm going to make that a button cord. And I'm going to make this button cord Y. So if I hold Y and press eight or press up on the D-pad is what I'm working with, it'll press the eight button. But that's not going to stack yet. That'll just place the tower in the eight button. Now we want to add a sub command, <laughs> and we want to make this a space key. So now it'll press eight and spacebar at the same time. So if I press Y and up, it'll summon my Firebolt Tower. You see that it's not even in my button list on the below, but now I can stack them. <laughs> okay, that's stacking towers. time I tab out. Sad. Okay. Now let's see how let's say I want to make a like my 
L2, like, press and hold and auto-fire, right? So, I'm actually going to change the direct left trigger here. If you add another command and change that one, it won't work. So, I'm going to make this. Uh, break the button cord. Yes. Right? Yes. Yes. I'm going to make it a button cord. I'm going to make... I think it's default this way. I accidentally changed it. So I'm going to make it toggleable. And I don't think this does anything. And I'm going to make a button cord Y. And I'm going to close this. And that should have done it. So I, all I did was, yeah, I made it a toggleable, and I made it a button cord Y. So when you, now if I just press L2, it'll still function normally, but if I, so yeah, just pressing L2 does normal. But if I hold Y and press L2 now, it'll auto fire. Like I'm not even holding the controller anymore. <laughs> and this will like if I add in another hero here and auto fire with him and then press Yeah, see it, it'll yeah. Still functions and and you can auto fire with this one too. Like, you can auto-fire with all four heroes with that function. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there one more? No, that's it. Okay, that's basically all the buttons I use. I just use the same four things over and over and over again. Or, well, a couple of them. Like, Control-G will work the same way as tower stacking. And all that stuff. So that's it for my controller tutorial. Right. Uh, yeah, that's it. Bye bye.